Welcome back, folks, to another video. We are starting the day off. We are at the ranch for one reason and one reason only, and that is for Zach well, and Banjo, but Zach's here. If you guys saw it, we shot a 50 cal a few videos back a couple weeks ago, and Banjo didn't shoot, and Zach wasn't here to shoot. And I was like, boys, you gotta experience the 50 cal lifestyle, okay? It'll change your life forever. So we drove all the way to the ranch. Banjo, how you feeling about it? I'm feeling good. Sheesh, buddy, just comes walking out the cabin strapped with the Barrett. Look at that, that is a sight. There's no way you're just firing like that offhand. Like, yeah, it's got a handle to carry. So you can carry it and it holds it. Anyways, we are going to be shooting, but not this exact one, but almost this exact same 50 cal could be yours, ladies and gentlemen. Classic Firearms is giving one away. They came out, if you guys missed the video, we shot the Ford freaking Ranger, and we talked about the giveaway there, but the giveaway has not ended yet. So go to classicfirearms.com and you can enter for your chance to win the exact same not my personal but like it's the identical version of a barrett 50 cal so if you want to be like me be twinsies and we can have both have barrett 50 cals that look sick and uh make a heck of a boom go ahead and like i said go to classifyarms.com and check it out who's going first is the question i'll let that go first I like how he just volunteers you. He's just like, how oh, you got it? He wasn't here that day. I feel like you gotta like some sort of rock, paper, scissors, coin toss. You got a roulette wheel, something. You pick a number between one and five, one and ten. A number between one and ten? Yeah. Ooh, okay, I've got it. You go ahead. Seven. Three. You were closer. So I go first. Yeah, I'd say so. Six was my number. I just wanted to see his reaction because he hasn't like been here while we shot. Like I know what I'm expecting. He I'll has... go first. Okay, okay, you have to go first. Like... Okay, okay, all right, you're going first. Yeah. You excited? You're feeling it? Yeah. You've never shot a 50 cal? No, never what's even what's the highest that. caliber you've ever pulled the trigger on? You shot a 301 mag? You shot three, 308. 308. I was going to say yeah. 308 is probably like the biggest. So, but he said, I think it was like a 600 grain bullet. I think is what the size of that is versus like a, a 308. It's like a I don't know, 100 grain bullet. I'm not really sure. Yeah, you got ammo in there? Yeah, we've got we've got a few bullets. But like I said, this guy right here could be yours if you guys want to go win it. I'm keeping mine. And I, I don't know. Comment down below. What should we use it for? I mean, obviously, I feel like it's probably not ethical to go shoot a deer with it. Coyotes, you guys care about that? You know, would you like that? I mean, what, what would you hunt with this sucker? That's what you're dangling with son yeah what do you think about it it's a big bullet that's big daddy son so we do have the ford ranger still out there down range about 150 200 yards and so that's what you ladies and gentlemen are be shooting you excited is it zeroed did y'all get it yeah. yeah 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 it's zeroed if you aim at something you should hit yeah. fairly close just to don't it don't shoot too low because we're not trying to hit the trailer yeah just so oh like, gosh yeah we made it through the entire video shooting 200 rounds without the trailer Our luck would be one of us is like hits the trailer like, don't hit we'll, the trailer we'll, just, we'll just aim high like something. yeah shoot the windows out or something uh, something on the main door just just don't hit the tire anyways let's go over there let's get to shooting how does that make you feel? Uncomfortable. Really? I feel like you feel pretty powerful with that. They're not armor piercing rounds or anything, but it pretty much rips through anything. Like I said, if you missed the original video, we shot the engine block, didn't go through the engine block, but it went through everything else, through wheels, through rims, through tires. It passed through all the way into the berm on the backside. So, I mean, you could take down, I feel like an armored vehicle with this sucker, feeling pretty good. So, red, white, and shoe, huh? Shoe, sure no. All right, well, let's see if we can get this sucker loaded here. Sheesh. All right, so you got an angle. And then, hang on, let me get my ear pro in. I'd plug it and muff it. The old one, too. <laughs> it's not quiet. It's loud. I believe it. No matter what, your ears are ringing, regardless of what you have. Even with the ear pro in? Yeah. Jeez. I mean, it's not bad. It's more just like a concussion ring yeah. than it is like a loud sound ring. Oh, yeah. The old double whammy. You'll be big chilling. I wish I had that the day we were actually shooting them. You got ear pro? I got the ears Okay. On. Huh? Say something. Hello. Oh, okay. I can kind of hear you. Just, barely, barely. Barely. Go ahead and give her. Uh, make sure it's on you safe. Chuck one in. Yeah, is it on safe? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and give her a rack. Sheesh! I'm getting the heck away oh. from you, buddy. Oh God. How nervous are you right now? <laughs> I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> These might not be the move. Oh, you can't get down on. There's no eye relief, huh? I mean, I shot all day without them. If you don't want them, you don't have to wear them. Yeah. I'm gonna freaking scope myself if I. Do. <laughs> <laughs> I wore those all day. You're fine. What are you gonna aim for? handle the door handle just don't aim low you should be good we already put one through the door handle in the other video so you'll be all right oh rip plug out let those completely compress like decompress in your <laughs> <laughs> oh this is funny right, this is probably all gonna get knocked over I probably should strap that down you excited yeah i'm ready when you are <laughs> i'm just procrastinating yeah no you got it you got oh, it come on you're just gonna like it. hug it nice and tight like and give her a squeezy and you know that's all there is really to it ready send it give her hell
Sheesh. How'd that make you feel? Holy Dude. crap, my face got punched. <laughs> Did I not say that? The whole time I said it feels like somebody punched you in the face, bro. That's bro, exactly. Have you ever, this is kind of weird, but have you ever had goggles on? Okay, like, like, like swim, swim goggles? goggles? Okay, yeah. okay. And like dove with goggles, like you now like compression. Yeah, face. yeah, it feels that. like That's that, yeah. It feels like. it feels like someone punched you. Yeah. Like without the physical pain, but just the blow yeah. strength. Ooh. The blow strength, is that what you said? Yeah. I don't know how he went freaking... Dude, Akimbo, I know. <laughs> but he's a beast, right? What do you think, shooting Bambi this year with that? Or how do you, what are you thinking? <laughs> there wouldn't be a Bambi left. <laughs> hey, tenderize that meat. We're just kidding. We're probably not going to shoot a deer. No promises, but we're probably not. <laughs> I feel like we got to go hunting with something. Coyotes are the only thing that's like, nah. They're kind of a menace, a pest. Hog hunting would be the one to do it with, but we don't have hogs here, so. Daddy Banjo. Really? Oh, he's, feel that. he's feeling good about it. On this side. Oh, yeah, you're a big lefty guy, huh? I'll steal your glasses now. Oh, yeah, you got to get Safety first. Don't get shrapnel. Don't be pulling a whistle and diesel. Don't be pulling a Kentucky ballistics now, okay? We don't need you dying. How's that feel? Is the height okay? Oh, yeah, I'm looking right at the gas tank right now. Yeah, don't shoot that. That's the only thing we haven't hit. Oh, I thought you said don't shoot the trailer. No, no gas <laughs> tank. That would be so epic if it just... Yeah, no, we don't need that. Okay. Go shoot like uh the door I think is a safe bet. Okay. Like upper left door. Yeah. Or so. Do you know where you hit or not? I forgot to look. <laughs> you didn't look where you were shooting? No, where'd you like aim after for? I shot. Oh, I where'd you aim for? The door handle. Oh, okay. We'll go check out the door. Cause there's only one spot at the door yeah, handle. Yeah, it was like right on the left. So I would shoot like upper left. Yeah, that's where I'm like of the in front of the steering wheel. Yeah. The, the dash. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That yeah. back window. It won't break. Yeah. It's the like window a tempered will? glass, yeah. I mean, you can rip the paint. Actually, no, rip one above the hole. That way we know if you hit it or not. There's like a little hole in the glass i think if you just send one right the up in there you'd be all right upper. Alrighty. you on i'm on sheesh buddy's ready at the 50 cal did you squeeze like really really tight does that help i hugged it yeah i mean i hugged Hug it. it it don't physically hurt yeah just hug her tight and squeeze <laughs> i hit it look at the window yeah, you broke the glass banjo Woo! 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 That is so fun. I want to do it again. Oh, you're that, feeling it. The, the brass Dude, comes back and look, hits you. Hang on. I got to show you guys this from us shooting the other day. Dude, I have burn marks like all over my arm. I've got some down here. Yeah, say, the got, brass comes out me. hot. And it's because we're lefties. We're lefties. Like, so I'm on this yeah. side of it. No, I have, dude, right I have here. marks all up yeah. and down my arms from the brass burning me. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, it's The sucks. only thing I can compare it to is it's like you're shooting a cannon. It's a cannon. It's a hand cannon. Let's take the mule down there and see what damage you guys caused. Right there. Good shot. And then Badger smoked the top of that. That's she gone. Let's see if it ripped through. Oh yeah. She went through there and she ripped through the back seat and I can see the exit right over there on the other side. She I love the 50 cal. There's nothing like it. You no, there's that's... like there's there's literally nothing like it. You can't compare it to another pew. Like I've shot in six fives, 300 wind mag. It's a one of a kind, in my opinion. And like I said, one of them that's identical to mine can be yours. Do you want to enter? Chance to win the giveaway? Am I allowed to enter? Probably not. Oh, I, I, it, maybe. Yeah, maybe I could talk to class firearms. Maybe we get a second one. Ooh. Maybe. But then no promises. We could do like challenges. That's long what I'm distance thinking. Challenges. True. I wonder what the distance is on that. Maybe it's not that crazy because it's such a heavy bullet. But man, you could do some so damage. Much powder Let me there. know what you think. Like, should, what challenges? Because again, odds we take it hunting. <laughs> Seems a little unethical somewhat. Unethical is the wrong word. It's probably the most ethical pew you could ever use, but just don't look all that. I mean, look at the exit, son. Woo! Sheesh. Just ripping, blowing holes through it. Anyways, Classic Farms, huge shout out to those guys for partnering up with us. And like I said, they're giving away the 50 cal if you guys want to check it out. That being said, that's all we came to the ranch for. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh! What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, starting the day off, one of my favorite places ever, the Fish Hatchery. We are at Beamers and we are going to hopefully maybe the goal is to catch some giant fish to take into the cabin pot you know i text my buddy i was like hey what you got you got any fish that are like of size to catch clean cook he's like no not really oh okay got it and he's like but wait we could go to the rock quarry which if you guys have watched the channel for a while you saw me catch a giant catfish out there like two three years ago and there's giant fish out there and he's like we could go say in the quarry and i was like okay we could do that but look at these fish munching right now he's look at them all bust he just put a bunch of feet out there are they oh. kitty catfish oh, there's, there's i saw a, a carp see i thought they were carp too which i'm surprised that he's got carp over here maybe it's a mistake or maybe he is raising carp over here oh big bluegills though giant bluegills yeah he's got that floating fish food right yeah. there oh there yep so there they go these are all like the hatchery ponds which are filled with small fish and he's like no no, no we're gonna take you to the rock quarry which has like mega mega fish oh look at them all they're getting it i mean they might be carp he does raise them but that's the plan we're gonna go sane some fish out of the rock quarry and you know we're talking i told him i said i only want fish that are eating size Does, we're not eating them today we want to stock the cabin pond with fish big enough so that this fall this this winter and next spring we can do catch clean cooks like over the winter we can do ice fishing videos and next spring we want to be able to eat like all the fish in there right now 
but they're not quite big enough to eat. And we that was the whole idea of designing the off-grid cabin with the pond was so we could eat the fish while we survive at the off-grid cabin. And we just don't have big enough fish. So I was like, any size fish, whether it's bluegill, crappie, perch, even bass, probably not gonna get any bass today though. Any type of hybrids, any type of catfish, any fish that tastes delicious, that's of size, big enough to fillet now, will definitely be of size next spring, even in this winter. So that's kind of the plan. Oh, dude, big bull. Oh, there he goes. Giant. That was a mega froggy. And so we are going to be taking the truck and we may even buy some other stuff. Like we should definitely bring a bunch of minnows. We got to feed up the fish that are in the cabin pond. So, I mean, we're going to basically fill an entire tanker truck filled with fish, big fish, some small fish, some bait fish. And we are going to haul it all the way back to my house and load the cabin pond up to where we can actually start fishing it. I feel like we've been like working on this pond for almost a year now and we hadn't even caught a fish out of it yet. So today, hopefully that will change. What do we got going on here? Ooh, these some little guys. I can't tell. What are these? Oh God, these suckers are fast. Oh, oh, they're fast. I don't know what that is. We need to find a net. I got a tadpole in it. Really? We put all those tadpoles in the cabin pond? I don't think any of them hatch. Or not, I shouldn't say hatch. I don't think any of them grew because I haven't seen any bullfrogs. Oh, there's a net right there. I just want to see what they are. Bluegills. Really? Yeah, these are actually decent size too. That's bass candy, look at that. I don't think we're gonna get any of those though. They're not eating size. We can't eat them yet. So I don't know what else we got. <laughs> and that's just a purebred, right? It's not a hybrid? That's a regular bluegill. Dude, that is a that massive is... bluegill. Sheesh. Oh my, that's a big mount boy. That. Yeah, that's a big boy. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a little albino catfish. Look at that. Oh, those things cool. Yeah, he would definitely get smoked by those bass in there though. We have to take the bass out. Our bass would be like, ooh, yeah. different flavor of bait. They'd munch it. Look at this little perch. Perch are so cool because we don't have, like they're not natural in our ponds or lakes around here. But like we definitely need to get some perch going. They taste so good. Look at them. And like ice fishing, ice fishing for perch. Mint. Well, we've made it to the quarry here. This is the trout. If you guys saw the video a long time ago, a year or two, he was just building this, and this is their trout pond. We're ready to feed these guys. How big are these guys now? I bet they're pound. Pound? Okay. Last time we were here, they're just little guys, so. Oh my gosh. No. That's no. We need this. Look at this. Those are big. Every single one of those are eaters. Look how big those are, dude. The whole water's erupting, dude. What? Get out of here. Dude, this is wild, yeah. Look at them all running. Sheesh. Yeah, last time we were here, they weren't even able to eat. They, they were like, little guys. In one year, that's the difference. How do you think you got in here? Oh, you're probably a couple thousand pounds. A couple thousand of them? <laughs> Dude, we gotta get trout now. I feel like we gotta get trout. <laughs> yeah. I feel like every time I come here, I'm like, oh, I need this, I need this, oh, I need this, I need How deep is this one? Oh, man, it's pretty deep. Is it? Is it? I said, they probably need that cool water, huh? Dude, we gotta get a trout pond. Yeah. Like, we gotta start digging ponds. All right, we're feeding them over on this side, which these are, oh, those are giant bluegills. Oh my gosh, look how fat they are. Dude, they literally look like tilapia. They're round like a dinner plate. All these fish are just dialed on this feed. We've got some work to do with our ponds. We're getting there, we're trying. We'll show you today when we get down there, hopefully they eat. We've been having the automatic feeder go on the main pond and the cabin pond. The cabin pond doesn't have much going on, but the main pond, the fish have been going crazy. I go down there and they say, oh, there's big catfish. Oh, big, big catfish down there. So we'll go out there and we'll try to throw some feed out later today. I don't know, I've never tried feeding them during the middle of the day or I haven't been there when it goes off in the middle of the day, but our fish are like this too, in the big pond. But this makes me feel like I've got to, I've got to go start digging in some holes somewhere and start getting some water in there for some trout. Like having a trout pond like that would be epic. All right, folks, so we've got net set up. It's getting drug across there. We've been throwing food over here. You can see all the bluegills and there's some catfish and bass going. So look at this teamwork going. Look at them. Sheesh. So basically anything that's in over here is what we're, I mean, there's giant bluegills. So at least we're having those, but we think there's catfish. There's all sorts. No one knows. So many fish you guys saw in here, all between carp and whatever. So whatever's living in this little bay is about to get sained up. All right, now they're walking the net in. For sure getting bluegills, definitely. But we've seen some catfish up shallow. It's a total mystery as to what is actually gonna get caught in this net. I have a feeling it's gonna be a lot of fish, like a lot of fish. They literally just walk it, keep it on this side, kind of corral them up here, and I guess I know how we're grabbing them. Probably should get a net or something, yeah. huh? Yeah, I don't know. I need to wrangle these guys somehow. You're doing great. Thanks. You're doing big things. Well, almost a moment of truth here. They're doomed. What do you think the biggest fish is that we're gonna get? You got any guesses? I don't know. No? No guesses? Oh man. I'm gonna pull this side over it. Well, golly, we're getting close. You're not feeling them yet? You're not walking on fish is what you're saying? Yeah, they're trying to get out of on the other side. Oh gosh, this is the moment of truth yeah. now. I felt one down there. Okay. We got one, we got one. Net. I see, is that a big blue? No, it's a bass right there. Ooh. Oh golly. Oh, something jumped. I see a shad. Oh gosh, there's some fish in there. Yeah, there's some fish in there. See a bass? Oh, some bluegills. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. 
That'll do it. That's some Look catching. That that's some is. catching cooking going on right there. There's some red ears in there too. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a good cat. Oh yeah, there's some good eaters there. Literally anything we can eat. Like, yeah, we're good with it. Dude, these are megas. There's even a giant shad in there. Look at that guy. You ever eat a shad? No, I don't think I will. No, you're not feeling the shad, dude. That's a big cute cat. Look at that guy. I would say we went ahead and we had success here. I think pretty much all these guys could hit the frying pan at one point or another. Well, I think we gotta load them up with some baskets now. If you guys don't want them, I'll take them. We'll use them for catfish bait. If you don't want them, it's up to you guys, though. We'll take them. You want the bass? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mega. <laughs> Big mama. Your mouth watering yet or what? Yeah. Shoo! We made it all the way back here to the cabin pond. Which, wait, what? No. See that little guy right there? Is he below Killing the surface? It. Oh yeah. yeah, dude, that's a teeny little guy though. We got the truck coming down. Back it up, Terry. We are now going to stock the fish that we caught. Did you catch him? Oh, no, he's, right there, oh, he's yeah. just a little guy. Oh, well, rip! But he's gonna have bullfrogs eventually. You think? You think there's a bullfrog? I don't know. I'm probably not. Is this a little fish? Well, oh, I think it was a little fish, a little minnow or something. So in this pond right now, what? You got a little few crappy, few bluegill, a few bass. Like, not, not much. Now you got it. Now, oh, see, he's got it. Now. Nah, nah, see, I, I, I put rock there. He's got this. I literally put rock here just for this moment, honestly. That's all the reason why I did it. As you guys saw, we saw some, got some big caps. I mean, mega trophies, world record, bluegills, sunfish, red ears, all that good stuff. So we're going to load this up. This cab is looking good. Grass is coming in nice. And Dude, who's getting marked over there? Is there feathers everywhere? Yeah, I think I saw four pain. of them. They just start plucking at it, I guess. We're going to take a net and dip them out. We'll show you guys each one we got. I mean, there's some catfish in here I, and bluegills. I don't even know if I would want to eat. They might just be fun to catch. We were talking to Beamer and we're thinking we might heavily stock this pond with perch and rainbow trout this fall once the water cools off that way when we ice fish we can catch perch through the ice and trout i think that'd be kind of cool too so anyways let's see what we got in here i see a tadpole and craw this might be crawfish is... crawfish i think we're gonna put on the big pond for the large mouth would you catch nothing i don't think you Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, hang on. Easy, easy. No, no, easy. You're gonna stab me. I'm gonna get stabbed. Bro. Woo! That's a hybrid right there. So do you wanna be down there and I can hand you Yeah, the yeah, net? yeah. Just pass past the net. Watch. Yeah, you watch. You're supervising. You, su <laughs> you supervise. <laughs> All right. There you go. Woo. Oh, you're getting your ass beat up there. You got a big it. Oh, God. Will it flop out, you think? I mean, it's gonna try. You got her? Yeah. Sheesh. You got it? Oh, yeah. That's big Sheila right there. Hey, hey, there you go, buddy. Woo -hoo! He's gonna taste good later. I'm Bye. so wet. Look at that guy. That's actually not a bad eater size. He's a little smaller, but that'll be perfect. Dude, just massive gills, though. Massive. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, I just got wet. Quit splashing. Oh, he's just getting destroyed up there. He's getting destroyed. All right, we got two big ones. Two big ones. All right, don't let him fall. You don't want the. Is he getting it right? figured out up there? What's going on? You don't on? want the shad, right? No shad, no shad. Okay, two big cats. Two, two big daddies. Meow. Oh, and some gills. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at that whisker. Woo! Big boy. Come here, buddy. There you go. You got it. There's another one. Look at the gills. Hella gills over here. Oh, oh, he's still alive. I definitely thought he was dead for a second. What else you got? What do you want me to do with the shad so I stop catching them? I got both of them. We'll cut them up and then feed them to our catfish later. How about that? You just don't want them to reproduce. Oh, we got big red ear in here. Look at this guy. Oh, and a bass. Bro, look at the red ear on that. Woo! Big dad. A little bass, some big old gills. Banjo's getting his butt beat. Big in. Really? Big daddy, let's see it. Woo! Wow. Oh my uh -uh. god. Look at this guy. Big daddy or what? Oh yeah. Don't hurt him now. He's trying to get away. Kill him now, we're eating him for dinner. That's fine. Look how big that guy is. Woo! All right, there's two in there. You think there's anything else big in here still? I don't know. Well, maybe one more. One more tea cat. Really? Oh, I got one gill. Nice. I think we're getting to the bottom of it. Maybe. Oh, oh I still got something. More of your good ones. Blue gills? No, they're shad. Really? Delivery. Good one. No cats? Is that it? I think you got one more big Sheila in there. You're hiding. No, I don't got a big Sheila. Oh. What are they, shad? Oh, there's a lot more of them in there, I thought. We'll have some good bait. That's for catfish. We can actually cut them up and feed our catfish here. You don't want to put them in there because they reproduce and they just cause issues. You don't really want shad in there, but they make a good food source. That's it. On to the next one. So we got minnows? Yeah. Except I don't know how we're going to get them in here. Well, we want to put the minnows in here. You can just scoop them out. All right, go ahead. Bunch of manners. This is to feed all them crappie and bass. Just feeding everything. Make sure everything grows nice and big so we can eat them later. There you go. 
Yo, big daddy. Let go there, mister. Woo. Maybe one of the bass in here will munch on that guy. We're gonna take most of the crawfish to the other pond since we've got all the stunted bass we're trying to get not stunted. All right, that's it? Yep. We've got crawfish to put on the top pond now. All right, Shad going in the bag. This is just catfish bait. We're not keeping them alive. You don't want to release them. So anyways, everything is now loaded. You saw the catfish, mega gills, okay, folks? Big fish. I told Beamer, I said, I want fish I can eat and he deliver. But we do have a bunch of crawfish still in the truck. But we're going to take it up to the top pond because that's where all the, hey, 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 don't do that. Because that's where all the stunted bass are. And stunted bass, well, any bass in general, love crawfish. And it makes them grow. There's really good protein in crawfish. So we'll see you guys up top. Who wants to get up there and scoop him out? You got it. All righty. You, you've had practice. Yeah, something like he's that. An, he's an expert. You want me to scoop him or just pull no, that? Just pull that. Sheesh. Look at all them crawfish. Oh, yeah. There they go. Look at all of them guys. Woo! Our bass are going to be fat and happy after this. Yes, sir. Look at these suckers. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, I got one. Look at him. Hey, how you doing? Lots of them. They're not giants, which is honestly good. Most of our fish could probably eat them. Those one and a half pound stunted guys. It's gonna be like a little candy. They're gonna be loaded in these. There you go. Oh, you find some? Oh yeah, these are the last. There you go. Oh yeah. Look at all them. Oh, look at them guys laying there. Sheesh. Oh my, look at them run around. These bass are gonna be tearing it up over there. So before we end it, we are gonna go to the feeder and we're gonna try and show you. Hopefully, I usually do it in the evenings, but feeder's been going like seven times a day and I went out here two, three nights ago just to watch it. It was like at the hatch, it was just an explosion. So let's go check that out. Well, time to uh, turn the feeder on. There's, all, I mean, these bluegills are already winky. I don't know if you guys can see that down there. Look oh, at yeah. that. Looks like we're the hatchery now, which we need to, maybe not today, it's a little warm, but like pick a day where it's a little cooler out, or maybe like we come out in the evening, but like, dude, right there. Look, you throw a cast net or something There's out like there. There's 20 right there. There's so many. We did such a good job stocking this place last year that it's like, okay, it's good. Okay, we don't need, you know, it's like, that's enough slices, you know, on TikTok. Tell me you know that one. Say it again. It, they're like, okay. That's good. That's good. It's enough slices. You don't never seen Shut that. Shut up. I'm lost on that. No. Thing. Never seen that. Bro. All right. Good TikTok, by the way. Anyways, that's how I feel about my bluegills. Just like, all right, it's enough. Gee, it's, it's okay. We don't need that many bluegills. We need bigger bluegills. Well, we need to grow them. Here's the thing. These bluegills don't do nothing but lay eggs, which is good, and then have babies that the bass eat. The bass themselves will not eat bluegills this size. Like, dude, look, I just can't. Look at them just hanging out. There's so many. Most of those are eaters. Yeah. So where it's like, you don't need 9,000 eater bluegills in one pond. It yeah. probably wouldn't hurt for us to move 100 or 200 over. And so I think what we're gonna do is come out on an evening when I know the catfish are biting, the bluegill are biting, turn the feeder on, throw out bobbers, and like have a goal of like literally like 50 to 100 bluegills, maybe like 30 or 40 catfish. We gotta move them over there. Like we just went out to Beamers, but he didn't have a whole lot of, I mean, you saw we got big fish, but we didn't get like the numbers. We'll be lucky to catch any of them big red ears you know yeah. they're, they're trophies but they're not eaters you don't want to eat that thing. no they're good breeders they'll breed let me know you guys want to see us have just an absolute bring like macy bring everybody who knows how to throw a rod out there and can catch a bluegill and we just and just fill up a big cooler with an aerator take it down there dump it and do it again until we make a dent in this and really help the population over there so are you ready to stoop i cannot believe how many there are right now this is just crazy they know the feeder strap they know so let's go ahead and give her a test we're gonna go for five seconds all right about to watch the magic happen i just hope the catfish come to play i've never seen the catfish during the day i think it'll work though oh here we go here we go look at them look at them they're about to start going off You'll know when there's a catfish. You'll know. There'll be a big whoosh. Oh, oh, there's catfish, catfish, catfish. Yep. Oh, look at him, look at him, look at him. There's one right here. Can you see that guy? Oh my God, look at how big these are. Those are all eater catfish. Hopefully you guys are able to see those. They'll start waking. Once the ones that sink are done, they'll start winning. Oh my gosh. This is cool to see because we've watched Beamer. This is like a normal for him. And like we tried so hard after a solid year of just really stocking. Now we have it, right? Like our hard work is paying off now where we get to enjoy feeding fish like this. I just want to see them. Oh, you can see them down there, but they're not busting quite yet. Yep. Dude, they're everywhere though. I think about how easy it'd be to catch these suckers. And they were there within what, four seconds? So like, it, I know where I'm catfishing now. They know to hang out. It's like, 
Oh, Ooh. there's one. You see a big splash. That is a catfish, dude. We could have just an absolute catch fest and only keep eating size fish. If you catch a blue, that's not an eater, throw it back, you know, just yeah. only eaters to where we can have a good ice fishing season. So that way, like when we're camping and deer hunting season, that time, like time frame where it's like cold and there's not much else to do. And like the winter, we got some fish to eat. And like I said, hopefully we get some trout. That'd be epic. Some perch. Oh, yeah, that's a good catfish. Yep. Right oh, there. Oh, oh yeah. there he goes. I mean, those are all like pretty close to the side. Maybe they're, you know, that big one he gave us, maybe not, but like those yeah. decent sized ones, ones, these yeah. are all the same size. We've got some pretty good sized catfish in here. They're just, and this is nothing compared when I did it. Oh, see, those big splash, them are them catfish. I came out here in the evening and it was 10 times this. Like it was whoosh, 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 like hundreds of catfish are just getting it. So I think when we plan to do the video, we got to come out in an evening. That yeah. way, like, the, it's like prime, prime time. They were like piranhas, dude. They're just. Just cruising, just eating all the little pellets and whatnot. It's paid off. Spending all the money, stocking the fish, getting the feeders going. I mean, they're dialed, and it and it's all good. It's not just like for entertainment. Like they grow by eating. It's it's literally straight protein. is what we're feeding them. You keep feeding them. I mean, there's I think nine feed cycles a day. It's like every like two hours or something. This sucker goes off, throws it out there, and I think they say if your food is still there 15 minutes after you feed them, you're feeding them too much. And I would say there's no shot there's gonna be any left after 15 oh, the food's minutes. Almost gone. The food's almost gone. There's a little bit more floating. Anyways, there you have it. We got some mega big old dinner plate bluegill stocked. Big old kitty cat stocked. Meow. We're getting there. I think we're just about ready to start fishing the cabin pond. We've got probably at least another one to two stocking sessions left. And then it is game on. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one. And peace.